miracles like curing blindness and leprosy. However, the Quran denies that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus as the Son of God is certainly understood within the Islamic context to mean that he is divine. And this would suggest from the Muslim point of view that Christians hold to different gods actually existing, whereas Muslims would hold that there can only be one God. The Quran also disputes the Bible story of Jesus' crucifixion, saying that Jesus did not die on the cross, but God lifted him to heaven, and his would-be executioners mistakenly crucified another man who bore Jesus' likeness. Chapter 4, verse 157. They neither killed him nor crucified him, but it so appeared unto them. They did not kill him for certain. Rather, God raised him unto him. The Christian idea that Jesus died for the sins of humanity is a concept at odds with the Quran's message that all souls are responsible for their own actions. The death and resurrection is an act of salvation doesn't work within Islam. You can't have uh, this idea of somebody redeeming the sins of somebody else. Muslims believe that it is because of distortions in the Bible that it was necessary for God to reveal his word one final time. In Islam, the Quran, as handed down to Muhammad and then preserved by Uthman, is believed to be the only true divine revelation. The Quran is seen as the final, complete, uncorrupted revelation, and Muhammad is seen as the last or final prophet of God. For 1400 years, Muslims have strived to follow that revelation. But interpreting the text is complex and 